so I'm going to tell a story time of my um, life in elementary school, middle school, high school, and maybe college. Okay, so in elementary school, I was going um, like two hours from here. And like, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I have a really hard time making friends. That's why, you know, I didn't join you two to make friends, but I ended up making a friend. So that was kind of cool. But um, I had this friend. Uh, what am I going to call her? Um, Carlina. Um, Carlina was my first friend that I ever had in my whole life. Um, we were like really close and stuff. I don't even know what happened to her. But um, I remember um, I've always been a clumsy girl too. I remember um, falling over, tripping, hurting myself. Like, I am a clumsy, clumsy girl. Also, when I was in elementary school, I played the violin. Yes, I played for the fourth and the fifth grade. Uh, excuse me. I enjoyed it. I loved it. And um, I just wanted to, like, continue on. But I guess I didn't, and I got a scholarship. And I graduated. I remember, oh, and there was one day... Um, was that? No, that was something else. But, um, I had on this cute little white dress. I was the shortest little 10 year old you could have ever seen. With a little white dress. Now, for middle school, I went to a private middle school. Um, we wore uniforms. That's why I was happy when I got to high school. I didn't have to wear uniforms anymore, but I have go to, sorry. But with this school, I have experienced a lot of things. Like, I actually went camping. That was one of the first things that happened at the school. Like, they would take us on trips and stuff. I remember going camping. I remember sleeping in a tent. Sleeping in a tent is not fun, okay? It's not fun. And, like, there was a girl there, and because my name's Jasmine, and um, there was another girl there. It's like, how many Jasmines can you have in one sitting? But, um... Yeah, like there was Jasmine and Jasmine. I remember going hiking. What else? I had this best friend at the time. Her name was, let me see, what is her name going to be? Sabrina. And Sabrina and I were like really, really, really close. And um, I guess I got, I don't know, I don't know if I got anger issues or what. But um, I got mad at her for something. I can't remember what it was. But I slapped her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I slapped that girl. Yeah, I, I know. And with this school as well, they had us do, like, summer reading. So I read books like The Color Purple, The Outsider, so many other books. It's like, that school was crazy. And then I had this group of friends. It was four of us. Um, I'm still friends with all of them on social media. But um, it was, like, the five of us, I want to say. It was all five of us in the group. And I was like, those those are my friends. I was the only black girl, but those were like my friends. Like, to be honest, I didn't start being friends with like black people <laughs> until high school. Like, I don't know. Like, I went to school with a lot of white people and Latino people. It's like, I don't know. Now let's get to the juicy. And also with the middle school, um, there was black people, but it wasn't like a lot of us. So... That was kind of different. I always felt like I was an Oreo, like black on the inside and white on the inside. Now I just feel like I'm black on the inside and on the outside. Like things have changed. So now um, I'm going to talk about high school. So I originally I was going to high school. I'm going to need to give this place a name. Um, mm, lanes. Okay. So I was living in lanes and um, I was going to to high school in lanes um this again was a very private um high school you know and like it just wasn't it also um if you want to hear like a story time on like periods and birth control and why i say you got to be careful with the birth control because it could give you stuff in the long run let me know that could probably be like the next story time but for this one i just want to focus on like how school was like for me and um um, and Lance was going to this high school, but I only went there for like two weeks because I moved to the next city I moved to, which is, I need another name, Westbrook. I was living in Westbrook and, um, 
And Westbrook, this is where I met my on and off boyfriend. This is where I met my best friend, and we're still best friends to this day. We've been best friends for like 12 years. And um, yeah, when I was going there, it took me a minute to make friends, okay? The first friend I ever had was actually my ex-boyfriend. And um, yeah, we was cool. And then like a year after, well, and then I met these other two girls, their names, we give them names, Carly and um, Irina. So Carly and Irina, um, we had met, and then we had met my best friend. I'm gonna give her a name, um, uh, Rose, okay? And Rose, you know, she, she is our bestie. She's been there for me through thick and thin. Uh, through good times and bad and I will still be there for her like no matter what like we thick as thieves okay and a lot has ha had happened like when I was 14 I got my first kiss like I know you're thinking it's kind of early but yeah I did it was with this white guy by a vending machine no that was very interesting um I didn't go to any dances while I was in high school either I just went to one and that was prom I also have a story time about that if you would like to see it or if you would like, want me to tell it again I could tell it again and um yeah I even had gotten into some fights like my best friend Rose yeah me and her we didn't get along at first like we actually fought like like your girl can't fight I don't think I could fight like I know that I cannot fight physically but if you want to fight with some words, I'll fight with you with some words. Like, um, yeah. And then, um, as I said, with the boyfriend, we were on and off, on and off, on and off. I had other boyfriends in between. Some of them were great. Some of them not so much. And now that I think about it, I don't really follow that many of my boyfriends anymore. Uh, I only follow, okay, I'm going to say like just four of them. The rest of them, okay, maybe five. But the rest of them is like who you who you like no and then senior year oh my gosh out of all the years and i even tried to join drama club but it just i guess i'm not made for acting either because like i'm so expressive in my face but yet when i was trying to read the lines and all that stuff and just didn't work so i kind of had left the drama club and then um prom came around okay I wore a blue short dress it was kind of short if I try it on for you guys now my body has changed since high school so it, it probably wouldn't fit the same way it's supposed to but um I was looking fine that was the first time I ever wore a weave a weave man you gotta braid all this up you gotta sew it up you gotta put the hair on like it, it was just a lot but at the end it's a very cute and pretty process i'll probably put a picture like right here so you guys could see it but it was just like a pretty process and we had went to another town i'm gonna call it townsville yes i'm using powerpuff girls because and if i need to know where you live so we went to townsville and in townsville there was like this little center that you can go to they had character church they had the prom king and prom queen that was just my night to go wild i went wild on my prom night with the boyfriend that i had at the time and it was crazy and then there was graduation like at all the graduations that was the best one i ever had because like my uncle was like a limo driver and like we had rode around the limo and afterwards you know i was the last name to be called at graduation so everybody clapped louder because i was the last name called it's like okay the graduation is over played my song played my favorite song i made it by kevin rudolph i still love this song to this day and um i think we ate at chili's or jack in the box afterwards i don't know oh and i forgot to mention after the prom when i came back we had went to walmart for a little bit i'm gonna move on to college this was also in westbrook and you know the westbrook um college had two different colleges and i was going to both i had gotten my degree in business um and i just and I just loved that degree. I loved the classes I was taking. I had like a whole bunch of college friends, you know. Some of them I'm still friends with on um, Facebook. And some of them just disappeared. So I don't know where they went. Like everybody I know is basically a mom now. Like 
what? Like, I'm out here just living life and everybody else is just, like, familying it up. Like, everybody's just starting a family. I'm not ready to start a family right now. If y'all want to know why, I could also put that in another story time. And, um, college was great. I had a college boyfriend. He only lasts, like, two, three months. And, um, so the between that time and now, now I'm going to another college that's located somewhere else. And also, I had moved out here. What can I call this place? Okay, I moved here to Riverdale, um, and, like, Riverdale has been, like, it's very hot out here in Riverdale and, um, all that stuff, and through my time, not just going to school, not doing anything for a while, I decided to get a job, <laughs> get a job, and, um, I ran into Live Me. I have been writing a book. I wrote a book, wrote another one. Like, it's Virtual Boyfriend and Jessica. Jessica will be coming before the year's over with. And um, I went on to Live Me and met someone special. And um, that's basically it. And also, I have found YouTube. Yes. Like, from 2015 to, like, early 2019, I was not going to school. I was just working. And I found YouTube. And I love it. And that is basically it for the story time. That is my life. Like, is that really that much eventful like i wish i had more story times like pull out of me but some exciting that stuff has to happen but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye